Randy here at the New England Wireless and Steam Museum. We're out back by the lookout boiler. It was a day of work here at the museum and I was working on an interesting piece. I thought everyone would appreciate a quick look at it. It's the oil burner for the lookout boiler. It's not your standard oil burner and I thought it was worth taking a look. Let's check it out. So when I say oil burner, I'm assuming that most people out there are probably familiar with the standard residential type oil burner. We have one right here. It was shown in one of the other videos. Here on the Columbia boiler, we have a, a standard Beckett, um, you know, mechanized oil burner. Um, I'm sure everyone was familiar with this type of thing because it's what you'll find in your house or in some small businesses. But the uh, burner on the lookout is quite different. We don't always use the oil burner. It's actually been used very few times since it's been here. Uh, we tend to fire the lookout on oil, uh, sorry, on wood at steam ups, but it does have an oil burner here. This is the unit itself, and certainly doesn't look like any oil burner that too many people have seen. It would normally mount in that hole right there where that cover plate is in the base of the lookout. And it's a uh, Venturi burner. It has no moving parts. But it uses, uh, in, to begin with, you would put air, compressed air, in one line and oil in the other to uh, draw a venturi across the tip, which is right here. This is the actual functional part. This is all of the functional part right here of the entire thing. Um, air gets ejected straight across here, or once the boiler is going, steam straight across out of a little slot there and the oil comes in the bottom and is drawn up through a little tiny slot. Might be difficult to make out, but there is a little tiny slot right there that the oil is uh, drawn up into the low pressure of the expanding air or steam there and actually sucked up from its reservoir um, and atomized and sprayed out. It's a Calorex best oil burner. Uh, very, very interesting piece. So we're going to give it a shot. This entire housing, um, the entire housing here is nothing more than an air chamber. So we've, uh, this opening here was just be used to light the, um, the flame and then you could close that down. Um, and then you have these dampers on the sides, on both sides that would be used to regulate the uh, airflow by the burner. Um, so like I say, it mounts in the, uh, where we have that cover plate on the front of the lookout right there. You'll notice that it's off center slightly from the, uh, the base and it's done on purpose. Uh, in the side here, we have some air vents for combustion air for the boiler. And you can see that, let's hope it's obvious, that those are on an angle going into the combustion chamber uh, firebox on the boiler. So the entire setup is designed to create a swirl of heat inside of the firebox. And a fairly large round, it's approximately four feet in diameter inside there and a standard fire brick around the perimeter. I know it's difficult to see with the lighting, um, but you get a swirl inside the firebox from this burner. Um, so I'm actually in the process of um, making some modifications here. Uh, at some point, maybe just last year, I think it was, we put a couple of metering valves on here to try to fine tune the amount of uh, oil and air and actually hopefully get a high-low uh, mixture going on on this, but uh, haven't had the time to get that going yet. Out here on the actual tip, this, um, this burner was originally operating on number six fuel oil. Um, and with this boiler being a hundred horsepower, uh, the quick math off the top of my head says that that was burning about 
uh, 26 or 27 gallons per hour of, of oil um, through what used to be a fairly large opening right here. It used to be maybe 3 16 by an inch and uh, within a year, a year or two or so ago, I brazed that hole up and then used an EDM to just EDM or erode a very narrow slot in there because not only do we not need the uh, same amount of BTUs out of there, but of course the number two fuel oil is much thinner than the number six that would have been originally, uh, you know, trying to sludge its way through that hole. So um, I'm in the process of making a new head for this to hopefully get some um, better uh, atomization of the oil. It'll do the exact same thing, but with some new passages inside. I don't actually want to modify this any further, but something very similar uh, with some different passages to hopefully atomize the oil a little bit better. Let's uh, connect this up to some compressed air right now and I'll put some water through it and you'll actually be able to see it in action. Alright so here we are we've got the uh, the burner sitting here and I might take that whole thing out the inner portion out just so you guys can see it but uh, hopefully you can see just those two tubes in there with the head out here on the end so there is absolutely no moving parts whatsoever. Um, everything is done by Venturi in the head there. So, moving around the back here, I've got a little bit of water, a cup going up through the metering valve, and the compressed air coming in through this other metering valve for the uh, for the Venturi. So let's just open up the air valve here a little bit, get some flow going. And I can immediately see that water level starting to drop. So I know that was difficult to uh, to hear anything there while that air is blowing through, but I hope everyone was able to see the stream that was coming right off the tip there and actually atomizing very well. Um, I think the water is probably very similar in viscosity to number two, uh, particularly if our point of reference is the number six that used to be running through this at some point in time. Um, doesn't really chew up a lot of uh, either air or oil. Um, air or steam, I guess is actually what I wanted to say. Doesn't take too, too much to uh, to draw a vacuum there and pull that through. And I've actually taken the time, I was waiting for the compressor to restart, uh, to, to refill. I've taken the time to throw a little uh, light inside of the lookout here so we can get a, get a quick look inside. I know you couldn't see it earlier. Um, but the firebox there, and like I was saying, we get that. We'll have that swirl of uh, of heat and flame with the offset nature of the oil burner there and the angled air slots feeding air in. So there it is, the Calorex Best uh, oil burner. Normally mounted Venturi oil burner, normally mounted to the lookout boiler here at the New England Wireless and Steam Museum. Hope you'll like and share the videos and come back for another episode. Thanks for watching.